Hey everybody, it's Blue Turtle, and welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Last time we were doing some Dompei's minigame ranging, and this time we're going to keep arranging some dungeons and see what we can do in Fill Up Your Hearts. It's up to you what chambers you use and how you arrange them. Just make sure you fill every single tile in the shape and the heart shape with the, cha with the chamber. Mind how you go connecting the exits and stairs now. Okay, well, we're gonna need an entrance. I guess we should probably use a newer one. Let's use the, um, color dungeon one, because I like it. I guess let's put in this, uh, what's it called thing? I can't remember what it's called somehow. The anglerfish boss. And now, it's time to start arranging some new rooms. Let's get started then. Can I put that there? And that there. I might want to try and get some more keys or something. Here's a new room. It's a uh, a long passage which has Moldorm in it, in apparently. So, now, let me see if I can arrange this exactly the way I want it to be. Let's put this one here. I need another one. Oh, I can't put that there. I need threes. I didn't realize that. Okay. Well, that's fine because I can do a few things. I guess I can put that there. Let's put that one. That seems like a lot of keys. I'm probably going to switch that out for this one. Okay. Actually, I do want to keep that one though. It looks nice, but it has the cracked wall, which is not really what I want, but that's fine. So, now, let's get some different ones of these up there. Let's get started with... I think I've... I see a problem with my design. I need... I need to be able to go up one room and not be locked out from the entire dungeon. So there's that. Um... Is that... Why has that got the weird... Is this just... Okay, that's those... Those lock while the enemies are still alive, I guess. Okay, well, let's put one of these in, I guess. Although it would be good to put more chests in, but I want to... I just want to make it look good. No, I need, I need to put a chest in there, otherwise it's not going to work. I can rearrange the, it, though, to allow me to have another... To keep that room there, so... Now... Let's go here. And this one can also have a pass-through room. With nothing in it. Um, now... I guess we should have two, I want to have two mini bosses. Oh, but I can't do that because it's it's not the same thing. Okay then. Let's let's see let's let's, let's let's keep the let's stick to the plan. I must make a plan, stick to the plan. And then work out where I'm going from here. I don't think it would make sense to have I want I want it to be symmetri symmetrical. So let's put that one there. Oh dear, there's not enough chests, which is not a good way to design something. I can't do that one, so let's go with that one. Oh boy, this is this is not this is not going the way I would have planned it if I could have planned it better. How about we do a smart move and uh, we do something like that there, and then uh, that one there. There we go, we, we reduced the amount of locks by uh, a little bit, I think. Just a tiny little bit. It's fine, I don't need to go through doors. Now, I probably want to have two chests. So, let's go with this one. Oh, but it has stairs. Let's remove that one. This one's a good one, so let's keep that one in there. And does that one actually do anything? Does that one... That would have been interesting, but I can't do that because... Th 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 that that room is a bit interesting with the, the way that that switch works. That switch does nothing if it do put it there, so... It's not really worth it. Also, why would I put that one there? It hasn't got a chest in it. I need a, I need a chest, otherwise it's pointless, so... Let's just put in a default one there. And now that looks pretty good. Pretty good. So let's uh 
Oh, check. Oh my goodness, why did I... Why... Why... Ugh... Let's start off with a mini boss. I guess, since that's just the way I've arranged it, apparently. Maybe I... Should I... I could... No, I'm not gonna do that, okay. Well, that looks good enough, so let's go ahead and start... ...on this one. Here we go! It's a me Mario. Starting off with a mid boss, or well, a full boss, but it's just a mid boss now, because we've uh, been getting new new chambers from places in the overworld, and from Dumpe after completing challenges, we uh, get some really interesting ones, like pass through bosses that aren't that become mini bosses. So interesting. And it's just the same as before. Also, something else I want to point out uh, once we get further into the dungeon is something that we can do. Which is actually quite an interesting. So yeah, I'll point that out when the time comes. I think it works in here, hopefully. Also, I'm guessing he's trying to dro gonna drop a fairy, so I might get ready for that. Okay, let's go to the final phase. Here we go. Oh my goodness. It might have been good to actually go get the red mail for this, because then I can fight bosses faster. Once I have more hearts, I probably will do it, just because taking damage is not going to be much of a problem later on. Anyway, now that we've done a, a boss... Okay, he didn't drop a thing. Okay, that's fine. Let's go exploring. Also want that rupee. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Good. Let's grab that and go open this chest. And we get a small key, of course. So we can open a locked door. Since there are some of those in there some somewhere. Oh, rupees. Thank you. It's a gift. There we go. Another small key. Makes sense, I guess. Can I get the... There we go. Oh. Ow. That's fine. Okay, mid-boss. Or a quarter boss. Ow. Hey, I should have done a thing. Why is it not doing a thing? Why is it not doing a thing? Why is it not doing a thing? There we go. If I can get into a better position, I could be able to do more damage faster. But it requires a lot of luck. Please work. Why are you not working? There we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Get slashed. Please no. There we go. Cool. That was a lot more work than it should have been. Let's grab this fairy. Uh, let me put it in a bottle just for now. I could have just taken it and refilled my health, but I'm just going to take it, so. Now. I actually... Oh, I just used it accidentally. This is why I was trying to set it up to something else. Okay, well this is open already, so that's fine. Now let's open this. One rupee! So something else we can use this song for... ...is in inside of dungeons, I hope it works here, we can warp to entrance. It's kind of like the warp that the, um... 
the mid mid bosses spawn in some of the dungeons. But because it's a custom dungeon, it doesn't do that, so we have to do it like that, so. Blue Rupee, five. That was easy enough. Now, let's grab this. Let's go this way. It's usually just hitting the red ones that are not in line with everything else. Now you... I wonder... Yep, you're all very weak to the bow. Let's go ahead and put that fair in a bottle. And put that bottle in a bottle, then I'll mail it to myself, and then I'll smash it with a hammer. Might actually keep out my bow. I like this room a lot. Let's open up this room here. Oh boy. Oh boy. I want to take out these anti fairies before I do anything else because they're just annoying. Let's grab this chest. Also, if you want to do custom dungeons, I would recommend probably getting fairies outside of the dungeon so you just have them when you go in all the time. And they re, re if you use them inside the dungeon, they'll be back to being in bottles by the time you leave, so that's fun. Also, I'm pretty sure dying in the dungeon still, or well, the custom dungeon still counts towards get too crazy. Play it safe still. Let's fight this boss. It's not going to be as fast as last time probably. But maybe if we use our bow well enough, we can see about that. Oh, he's charging. Oh, I can't use my bow. That's fine. He's a fairly easy boss. Oh, especially if he's stunned. Okay. He also spawns in more stuff because uh, we didn't actually get to see a lot of the things he actually does last time because we took him out so fast. Am I done? No, not quite. There we go. Fill up your hearts, clear. Now surprisingly quick. What a show, there are times I swear you had one foot in the grave. Here's a thing. Se secret seashell, wow. And also a piece of heart. You've got a knack for this stuff. I'm itching to see how you handle arranging a dungeon from the ground up. I'm thinking I'll throw together a thing where you can arrange a dungeon however however you want. Watching you down there gave me an idea for a new challenge. What are you here for? Let's arrange because we, we've still got time. So, we have a free play mode now if we go here. We have all these slots that we can use to make custom dungeons. We Probably we'll do something like this at some point, but we've also unlocked level 2 stuff. Bombs Away and Key Hunter. So, I guess we should get started with this. I think I'll start with Bombs Away because it's already got stuff with it, so. Let's go with this entrance. Let's see how we can arrange things. I'm going to use a different boss now. We can use uh, this boss for the first time now. Now, I want to pass through because I need a pass through. Let's use this. I want to have, uh, maybe we should put as many bosses in as possible because that's not going to go badly. Um, how many other boss rooms do we have? We have this one. 
We have this one. And we have this one. We have this one. Probably don't want that one there, except I might have to. Possibly. Unless I rearrange everything again. I, I, I can use a, a warp if I can figure out how to make it work. And I think that's all of the boss rooms in now. So actually I could move it and then rearrange a few things. Although... I think there is there is actually a really good spot for it. So... Now let's work out the... The ones that I need e extensions for. Like there. And... There... And I guess there as well. Now... Pathways... Let's do that one there. This... no... This one here... Let's do some ends. We have a top one. Which we could make the path to the next area. And then we have a side one, which we can make that. Let's get the bottom one. Um, I think I also might make this the extension path to keep going. So there we go. Now, if I go here and do that, that means I also need that, unless I have this one. I'm going to go with that. Which brings us down to two slots. Let's go with that one there. I don't think there's many of the switches, the red red and blue switches, so. And then we just need one more going down, which can be a treasure chest. I'm going to go with uh, classic or re reliable. Well, the, 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 I don't know. Let's go with I might actually make it this one, just because. Okay, let's go. Go adventuring. It can go really fast when arranging, when you have stuff later on. And also when you're limited to a very certain amount of space, it goes by faster as well. I'm gonna try a different strategy here. Going from the long path. So it goes by just a little bit quicker. Maybe, in, in theory at least. Also, I just realized something. We have one heart on our second row. That's interesting. Missed. Might get out my arrows since they're so good for this. Perfect. Oh my goodness, three in a row. Bow is really powerful. Okay, let me get out my b bottle again because I keep having to refill it. Okay. Now, let's let, set, set that to bow probably. Okay. Oh, boss again. Hey, I wonder how well you stand up to arrows. Okay, fairly well. How about now, though? Okay, that's fine as well then. Let's get the get the thing. Oh my goodness. Can I please hit you at some point? Ow. Ow. Ow, come on, come on. Just let me get you. Oh dear. Oh my goodness, stop comboing me. He's almost done. Almost done. There we go. That's quite a semi-difficult boss. I only lost a little bit of health, but that's probably because I've got the reduced damage. Another boss, I forgot. This is the boss rush that I created myself. You know, later on, when we have 
more chambers, we can make an even bigger boss rush with more bosses. Can't move. Can I do something to make him go by faster? No. That's fine. Come on. Which way am I going next? I think I'm going down next. Okay, let's finish you up. I wonder if I can like, I don't know, magic powder. No. It's a good thing it replenishes itself when I leave. Come on. Might just set that to bar. Which one's the real one? That one apparently. But he's also dead now, so. But anyway, that's it for this episode of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. I know it's in the middle of a custom dungeon, but that that's just how it is. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.